Hello and welcome to another WJCA level physics question. This time is question 2 from May 2017's unit 2. It's a question on resistivity but it's also uncertainties. So a student is basically being asked to find a resistivity of a piece of wire. Uh, she's cut off a piece of wire. We've got a table which shows the length, diameter and resistance of the wire the instrument used and the resolution of that instrument. We're asked to calculate the resistivity of the metal in the wire. Well, in the data books we have R equals rho L over A, so rho is R A over L. Resistance is 2.2 ohms. To calculate the cross-sectional area is pi times the radius squared. The radius is half of the diameter. So instead of 0.48 millimeters, we have 0.24 millimeters. We convert the meters millimetres to metres by adding a tenth to the minus three and don't forget the squared. Take the length of 812 millimetres that needs to be in metres so either 812 times tenth to the minus three or 0.812. We put those numbers into the calculator we get 4.9 times tenth to the minus seven The unit for resistivity is all meters, and there's a very strong chance that it could be a unit mark. They're going to consider significant figures because this is a question about uncertainties. We can't go too mad with figures. The best answer is two significant figures because we have the resistance and the diameter to two significant figures. But we could also go for three significant figures by putting 4.90 times 10 to the minus 7, it is a zero on the calculator, because the length is three significant figures. But the general rule with uncertainties is that the least number of significant figures weighs more than the others when we come to round in our final answer. So 4.9 times 10 to the minus 7, best answer. Next we're going to calculate the absolute uncertainty in the resistivity, giving your value to an appropriate number of significant figures. So let's do this in lots of steps. So first of all I'm going to work out the percentage uncertainty in the length. That's going to be the absolute uncertainty in the length, one millimeter, divided by the actual length and multiplied by a hundred to turn that into a percentage. That comes out as 0.12%. Now remember, with uncertainties, never give any more than two significant figures. So for the moment, I'm going to work with two significant figures, and then I'm going to round at the end. Next, we're going to work out the percentage uncertainty in the diameter in exactly the same way. We've got 0.01 out of 0.48 times that by 100. And that will give us... 2.1%. Now in the calculation of resistivity we don't actually use the diameter, we use the area. And the area was found by multiplying pi times half of the diameter squared. When we raise a quantity to a power, the percentage uncertainty is multiplied by that power. So the percentage uncertainty in the cross-sectional area is going to be 2 times 2.1 or 4.2%. Next, the percentage uncertainty in the resistance, same sort of calculation, 0.1 over 2.2 times by 100, giving us 4.5%. Next, we need to find the total percentage uncertainty in the resistivity by adding all those individual per percentages up. Now we'll note this year there wasn't actually any point in going to that second decimal place with a length because the other uncertainties are to just the first decimal place. So what we're going to do is we can add together 0 0.1, 2.1, sorry, 4.2, 4 and 4.5. So there we get 8.8% or maybe 9%. We're not too worried. Again, no more than two significant figures there. Finally, to find the absolute uncertainty in the resistivity, we're going to find 9% or 8.8% of the 4.9 times 10 to the minus 7 that we actually worked out for the resistivity. And let's have a look at that. That will give us about 4.3 times 10 to the minus 8.
Now, personally, because it's a final answer, I would then round that to one significant figure and call that 4 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. But two significant figures is just about acceptable. Finally, this, we have to suggest one way in which the student could reduce the uncertainty in her value for the resistivity using the same reel of wire and the same instruments as before. We've got to explain briefly why the uncertainty would be reduced. Well, when we try to improve experiments and reduce percentage uncertainties, we always go for the thing with the largest percentage uncertainty, which is the resistance. Now, to increase, uh, sorry, to reduce that percentage uncertainty, well, the absolute uncertainty, the measurement take uh, the resolution of the measurement instrument is going to be stuck at 0.1 so we need to increase the resistance and we can do that by increasing the length so what we're going to use here is use a longer piece of wire now some people would say that that's great because it reduces the percentage uncertainty in the length but the percentage uncertainty in the length is already very very small it's 0.1 compared to 2.2 and uh, 4.5 or whatever figures that we got earlier so it's using a longer wire to increase the resistance which will reduce the percentage uncertainty in the resistance. So when we're trying to improve an experiment, always attack first of all the thing with the largest percentage uncertainty, which in this case was the resistance. Thank you very much for listening. Please remember to like and subscribe and feel free to leave any comments. Goodbye.